Hi, Mark Spencer from Ripple Training here with a quick tutorial on how to use the connect the dots and connect direct callouts in Ripple callouts to make an animated map. So here we have a map in Fonica Pro 10. I'm just going to select it in the event browser and press E to do an append edit, bring it to the timeline. By default, it's four seconds long. You can change that in preferences. I'm going to hit the X key to set a range for it. And then over in the titles browser, I'm in the Ripple callout section here, and we have our 14 Ripple callouts. There's now 14 as of version 1.3. And in this tutorial, we're focusing on these two, connect the dots and connect direct. So connect the dots is the one to use if you want to use a curved animated line. So I'm going to select it and hit Q to do a connect edit. And if we now play this through, we've got a little line animation. Now, a couple things to adjust this. First of all, I'm going to select the image underneath. The image is automatically set to fit to the screen, which isn't really what we want here. So in the video inspector, if I scroll down to the spatial conform, I'm going to change the type from fit to fill. And that will fill the screen with a map, which is a little better. Now, with this callout, I'm going to select it. We've got a bunch of controls here. And the main thing I want to get across to you is for this one that's curved, rather than starting to move points around first, I would suggest either rotating or transforming it to get it in the basic place that you want it to go. So this is what I mean. Uh, for example, let's say we want to go from O'Neill up to Sioux Falls here. So if I start dragging the points to line them up to those two cities, I get this curve and it can be a little difficult to get that curve to do what you want to do. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit the hooked arrow over in the inspector to reset that. And instead, you could either rotate the whole thing like this to kind of line it up, or I'll undo that. Another option is to transform. So with this still selected, I'll hit the transform uh, button right here. And now I can basically just transform everything on the screen that's just in the front. And this is new as of 1.3 that you can transform the callout independently from the map. So I can kind of line it up about uh, where I think I'm going to want it to go, roughly like that. And then I'll get out of the transform tool. And if you don't see the end points here, you can just zoom back a little bit. Let's go back to maybe 50% and make sure we can see our end points. And I'll bring those in. And then I'll hit Shift-Z to fit it back to the window. And now I'll line up to uh, O'Neill and to Sioux Falls. And now it allows me to make this line straight uh, or give it a little bit of a curve. Uh, a little bit easier to navigate. I just want to give it a slight curve, something like that. And then these uh, point text, we can rotate to make them where we want. I'm actually going to turn these off, but I just want to show you if you do want to use them, you can rotate them. Of course, you can change the font color and size and all those good things. But what I'm going to do in the inspector is just scroll down to show point uh, A text and turn that off. And show point B text and turn that off as well. There we go right there. So now I've got this little animation from O'Neill over to Sioux Falls. And of course, you can manipulate how this looks as well. You can change the colors and the size of the dots. I can make that first dot uh, quite a bit bigger or smaller. I can make the outline width thicker. So you've got a lot of options on how to um, kind of stylize this to make it look the way you want. Okay, uh, so let's say that's our first little line. And now I want to do a second line at this point to go from Sioux Falls over to Spencer. Now, if you want to make a short straight line, it's a little bit difficult with uh, connect the dots because of this curve in here. You can kind of straighten it out, but especially if you make it very short, it's a little difficult. So that's why I created connect direct. Connect direct allows you to make a straight line. So in the timeline, I'll hit I to start uh, an endpoint for the range here. Select connect direct and hit Q. And now connect direct is pretty much the same thing, except it's just a straight line. There's no curves in there that can mess you up if you just want a straight line. So um, it doesn't draw on quite fast enough. It's a very short thing here. So the first thing I'm going to do is change the animation speed to fast. So it animates on quite quickly. There we go. And the next thing I'm going to do is simply line it up to go from Sioux Falls over to Spencer. Now in this case, I don't want that point A to see it at all. I could hide it behind the other one, but rather than that, I can just turn it off. So let's go down and turn off show point A. We'll also turn off show point, show point A text. We'll turn off the point B text, and we'll move this in the timeline below. So the little line hides underneath. And then maybe we'll change the line itself. Instead of being a straight line like this, let's change it to be 
instead of solid, let's make it dots. And let's make the dots white, and we can make them maybe a little wider. So now, with those together, we can animate on one and then the other. So that's a quick idea on how to use the two together in tandem, and of course you can make as many points as you want. Now one final thing is if we want this whole animation to have kind of a camera move on it, what I'm going to do is select the whole thing, I'm going to choose File, New Compound Clip, and I'll just leave that as the name. And now that this is a compound clip, we can uh, transform it. So what we'll do is I'll move, let's say, about here I want the transformation to start. I'm going to go into the transform effect again right here. I'm going to click the keyframe button. Then I'll move forward to this point in time. And at this point, I'm going to scale up. And you could do this in Spectre well, but I'm just going to scale this up. And I'll drag it down and maybe rotate it a little bit as well. Something like that. And then I'll go out of the transform effect and play that back. And there you go, a nice little animated map effect using callouts in Final Cut Pro 10. Please check out all our other products and tutorials at rippletraining.com, and thanks for watching.